Hello, my name is Abby Lake and welcome to my kitchen table studio. I am an artist, a maker, a sketcher, a stitcher, an educator and lots of other things as well. <laughs> uh, my work covers a variety of creative practices but through all of these uh, I have always kept sketchbooks and I find scribing word and image a really important way of documenting the artistic process but it's also a creative process in and of itself and it's it's very important to the way I work. So this is a short video um, to give you just some examples of the sort of work I produce in my sketchbooks and beyond. Um, you can also find out more about me online um, at abbylake.wordpress.com or on Instagram at Abby Art Work Play. Enjoy! So my work covers multiple disciplines from textile and installation art, performance writing, education, workshops, painting, drawing, stitching, doodling, gardening. And because of this, the way I document includes a combination of media and approaches. I sketch, draw, annotate, sew, rip, paint, stick, collage, photograph, print, cut, colour and write, all in response to the subject matter. So scribing words and images have always gone hand in hand for me, with one informing the other, or more often a final piece being a combination of the two. I also love working with different fabrics and writing in unusual ways, so there's often a very tactile or sensory element to my work. Currently much of my textile work is focused on visible mending, repurposing and upcycling and this spirit of sustainability is something that I would bring as a scriber too, looking after and honouring what already exists, in this case within the Platt Hall collection, through collaborative reflection and, and careful creative documentation. Keeping sketchbooks has also helped me to process and document everyday moments. This has been especially useful in recent years as I've navigated personal challenges and grief in my own life, but also alongside the global trauma we're all experiencing in the context of COVID-19 and environmental and social justice crises. I've spent time exploring and documenting familiar and unfamiliar everyday objects belonging to loved ones. And as I've cleared their living spaces after death, really seeing, listening, holding and reflecting on these has, has brought increased sensitivity and diversity to how I record events and objects on the page. And this process of sorting and responding to real life objects has further deepened my ongoing practice of scribing and sketching ideas as well as material things. Thanks.